How y'all doing? It's Craig here again. Been quite a while since I've done a video. Um, working seven days a week, eight, ten, twelve, some sixteen hour days. Just isn't cutting it. Uh, finally got off today just after eight hours. Uh, able to get home, mow the grass, hit and needed it. Um, been doing a few things here and there. Uh, not really worthwhile putting on video. Just little tune-ups, fuel line changes, carb rebuilds, stuff that, you know, they, there's been lots and lots of videos done about. Uh, I just don't see a point in redoing a video on something that's been done many, many times. Uh, it's pretty much repetitiveness. Um, so I choose not to put stuff like that in my videos. But um, I do have a couple projects. Well, I got more than a couple, but a couple I'm working on right now. Uh, kind of went dumpster diving the other day, so to say. Uh, it was trash night. I was driving home from work and drove by a guy's trash can and um, just happened to see this in it. Just like you see it right there. That is a home light leaf blower. It is a ZR series. X25MHV. Uh, so I brought it home, put a little bit of gasoline in it, two cycle mix, pulled it several times and, and actually got it to run. Um, as I was running it, it started to lose power and then eventually died and I could not get it restarted. So I left it set overnight, come back down the next morning Primed it, two or three poles, lo and behold, started and ran. As it ran, it started to lose power, and then it died, and I could not get it restarted again. So i done a little bit of investigating, checked the, the vent on the gas tank, uh, checked the, the fuel lines. They all seemed to be like they was practically new. Checked the fuel filter. It seemed like it was, was good. Um primer bulb when you pump it pumps gobs of gas through the carburetor it has got a replacement carburetor on it I'm sure this is not the original I don't believe that um that come like that because on the back side of this arm you can actually see where it's been ground down so I do believe that is a replacement carburetor um, I tried to adjust it as I had it running, could not get it to run, so I done a vacuum pressure test on it. It held uh, both vacuum and pressure, or yeah, vacuum and pressure. I done a compression test on it, and the compression, you know, again, I don't, these little engines like this, it's I believe it's a 30 cc. I don't know exactly what they should be running. But this was cold. It ran up around 128, right around, well, between 125 and 130. After I ran it and it died, <clears throat> I checked it again, and it was down to about 95. Uh, I've not tore it apart yet internally. I've got a good idea. I think I know what might be wrong with it. I think the... The ring is probably toasted in it. It's probably just completely wore out. So that's basically what this video is going to be about. It's going to be not a, a really long video, but I'm going to tear it apart and show stages as I'm tearing it apart. I'm not going to do a bolt-by-bolt bolt tear down on it. But I'll do stages on it, and when I get to the cylinder and start tearing it open, I'll put that on video so everybody can see exactly what I see as I'm tearing it apart. Um, I've got a ring on the way. I'm, like I said, I'm all, all but sure that's what it is. If it is not what I think it is, I can use that ring in one of my other weed eaters. That's no big loss. The ring was like $4 shipped to the door. But anyway, um, I'll be working on that here. But I've got another project over here that I've been working on. And I'm actually waiting on parts for it. This is it right here. This is a John Deere. Um, JS60 push mower 
I acquired this push mower in kind of like a barter trade. Uh, a guy I work with wanted his tree cut down in his backyard. I uh, said I could have the firewood if I cut it down. So it was a about a 35 to a 40 foot standing dead box elder uh, that I cut down and, and cut up into firewood. And I had a, a pickup truckload of firewood out of this tree. Uh, I'm talking a pickup truckload, a full one. And as I was leaving, he asked me if I had any need for a push mower. I said, not really. He said, well, he says, I'm just going to junk it. It won't run. I said, well, heck, if you're just going to throw it away, you know, throw it on the truck. I'll take it home. I can use parts off of it. So I brought it home, and the carburetor was all plugged up. So I got it running, but it spit more oil out the exhaust than what it actually used gas in the short little time that I ran it. So I tore this thing apart to see how bad it was. And again, the, cil the cylinder is actually pretty decent. It doesn't have much of a ridge at the top. But the rings, and I've got, I got a new piston and rings coming for it. The rings are just completely wore out. Let me mount it back up here in my stand. Oh, and also I got myself a little toy. It's boxed up right there. We'll get to that at another day. glasses on here so I can try to show you what I found when I tore this thing apart. Get this off here without breaking it. Of course it doesn't really matter because it isn't no good, it's junk. This is the oil ring, the oil control ring. It's gonna it's kind of hard to show, but this thing is plumb wore out. The grooves it's so dirty you can't hardly see, but there's there's little holes. There's little holes there in the ring that allow the oil to pass through to get it to the back side so it can drain back into the crankcase. And then there's little lands in between the holes. Well, the ring itself, the scraper of the ring, is almost flush with the little lands. There's very little room right there, so there's very little tension left in this ring. And that's what was causing that thing to use tons and tons of oil. The piston you can still see. Well, okay. Uh, looks like I filled up my SD card. But anyway, as I was saying, I hope I got it all. The ring for that Briggs & Stratton is, is just completely wore out. And it was letting a lot of oil bypass it. And that's what was causing it to burn oil. So I've got that in the works. I've got parts coming for that. I don't know when I'm going to be able to get all this done. Like I said, I'm working seven days a week, um, 8, 10, 12, some 16-hour days. Been averaging about 80 hours a week. So when I get off work, I come home, the only thing I want to do is just lounge out, eat a little bit, and go to bed. Um, so hopefully it won't be too long until I get another one posted. Uh, I'll work on it if I can in my spare time here. But... Thanks for bearing with me. I appreciate all the subscribers. Appreciate all the comments. Even the negative comments because there's some people out there that like to troll. Um, you know, if I don't like your comment, I'll let you know. I'll tell you how I feel. That's just how I am. I don't care if you like it or not. You know, you don't have to like it. That doesn't bother me one bit. But for the ones that give me good comments, thanks a lot. Uh, for the people who have subscribed, thank you. And also for the people who have watched my videos and just give me a like or a thumbs up, thanks, thanks to you also. Thanks everybody. And I promise I will get some more videos up. It'll just be time dependent on my work schedule. Have a good one. Talk to you next time.